Hey guys, welcome back to Digital Gigger. In today's video, we're talking about how to use free software to make money online. I'm going to talk about how I look for opportunities online and then I match those opportunities to software that I get for free to complete the task. And this is how I've made a lot of money over the years, completing tasks for other people with software that I get online for free. And we're going to talk about that and get into it and I'll show you some of the programs that I've used and where to get them. So let's take a look. Digital Giga work from anywhere in the gig economy. So hey guys, one of the websites that I use to make money is actually called Fiverr. I've talked about it in the past, but Fiverr has actually given me the opportunity to find people to do things for me. And I've also posted up my skills on Fiverr and offered the skills that I have to other people and made money that way. But one thing I do is I actually go on the Fiverr website and I look at what people are offering. So I try to see what other people are offering as part of their skills and then I try to see if I can do the same thing and offer that same skill on the marketplace. But sometimes it involves having software and when you're starting out money is limited and you guys need to find and be creative with a free software. So there's a lot of programs that I've used over the years that have helped me make money and I haven't had to pay anything. For an example, if you guys need Photoshop, there's a free open source version of a program called the GIMP. GIMP has been around for a very long time and a lot of people that need to do Photoshop-like work and don't want to pay for Photoshop can sort of get by with GIMP, maybe as their starter program, and it's free. It's for word processing. There's a lot of websites and downloadable programs that you guys can use like OpenOffice to instead of purchasing Microsoft Office, have a similar experience, but with a free version. It's not gonna be 100% the same as owning the real software or the branded software, but it will give you enough of the tools that you need to accomplish a task. And that's where we're going with this video today, is to show you how to take some of these free tools and create a business. So let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. So the first thing I do before I go on Fiverr is grab my notebook, get ready to take some notes because I'm going to take down a lot of information from Fiverr so that later on I can go and look for the software I need to create these skills to Okay, so the Fiverr. next step is we're going to bring up the Fiverr website, make sure you have your notebook handy and that you're writing down some of the categories uh, that we're getting into so you can drop down the menus and see what's being offered under the different categories and see if you can match some of those skills to uh, what you already know and maybe to the software that we're going to be able to get for free. So if you're going to do video editing, then you could look for a free video editing program and start offering some of the basic skills of uh, what people are asking for. So we would deep dive further into that category and see what people are actually looking for, for example, in the video editing category and see if we can match that to what we can do. So the category I picked was voiceovers. Voiceovers are really easy to get into. All you need is a microphone and some recording software to record your voice. So we're going to go on Google and take a look and see if we can find some free recording software. Okay, so we did a quick Google search and we found some free recording software and actually one of the top picks is Audacity. It's been around for a long time and it's a great open source recording software. Uh, so we're going to take a look, see if this is what we need to create the skill that we're going to uh, offer on Fiverr. So as you can see, it has all the uh, requirements we need to record audio and we're going to go ahead and download that and install it on our computer and now we're ready we just need our microphone the software and we have a skill to offer on Fiverr so as you can see Fiverr has a lot of different things that most of us could probably do if we had the right software and the time to learn that software so if you can match some of the skills that people are offering to what you can do and find the software that helps you do it you have now a business opportunity and you can earn some income on Fiverr so that's one of the ways that I have found opportunities by using Fiverr and matching up the software that I would need to be able to offer that skill. Now, if you are a YouTuber or if you're thinking of starting YouTube or anything like that, there's also free video editing software like HitFilm. Uh, there is so many different things that you guys could get for free online that you can use it and start to make money. Now, one thing also that you have to keep in mind is some of the licensing uh, terms for the free software might say that it can't be used for commercial purposes. So you got to make sure that if you're running a business and 
you've downloaded something that's for personal use that you could be caught and there would be a problem if you're infringing on the copyright owner's uh, terms and conditions. So make sure that when you're looking for software that you're also finding software that doesn't disallow you from doing commercial work with the program because then that would suck if you get in trouble for using that program to do something that you weren't supposed to. But there are enough options out there for different software that you can get by and do what you need. So whatever you need, there's probably a free version of the software out there for you. So I hope that helps and I hope that you guys can take some of these skills and make some money online. Now, if you like this type of content, I gotta tell you, don't forget to subscribe, to hit the notification bell, and to hit the like button because that helps us with the YouTube algorithm. As far as that goes, we've been seeing a lot of you guys commenting about new things that we've put up, and that's great. I really appreciate all the comments and feedback that we get from you guys out there, and we're trying to grow this community. So thank you very much, guys, and we'll see you guys in the next one.